What's up, y'all? Skunk72. Yeah, first of all, let me apologize for you know, the same old scenery that you guys always see. You gotta be getting sick of it. I haven't been around in a while, haven't been doing any vlogs, because I got that uh, other job I was applying for. And during my training there, I have to work full-time hours, and I'm still maintaining my full-time job on the ambulance, so I've been a little bit on the busy side. Uh, kind of kept me off the bike a little bit. Those of you that aren't from the Southern California area, it's been hot as shit down here lately. Which I'm not ready for. It's been uh, nearing 100 degrees pretty much every day for the past week or so. Once again, no air conditioning in my house. I got a portable that I've been using. Doesn't do much, but it helps. You know, I get it. first world problems, right? So for today, let's talk about Harley dealerships. No, they're not all bad, but the more and more I'm learning about where I got mine, the more pissed I'm getting. You know, first we had my buddy Bear. He had a service contract that they told him was good for five years. It was basically prepaying for all of his services for the first, or actually 50,000 miles, I think is what it was. Um, he went in to get his last service done and they said, all right, that'll be 100 whatever bucks. And he was saying, whoa, wait, what the hell is that all about? I have the service plan for 50,000 miles. And they said, oh no, that was 50,000 miles or three years, whichever comes first. Well, nobody mentioned the three year thing to him when he bought his bike brand new from them. So my experience there, my bike was a repo from somewhere. I don't know, they got it at the auction, whatever, it was, I was able to do it, it was, it was a really good price. Um, whoever had it before me did the single headlight conversion, because Fat Bob comes with the dual, dual headlights. So when I took delivery of the bike, <clears throat> I didn't like how the headlight was pointing. It was pointing down, so it would only illuminate the road like two feet in front of me. So I went to adjust it. When I adjusted it, I saw that the mount and the bracket part that goes into the mount of the headlight bucket were rotted out and almost to the point of disintegrating. So it wouldn't have been much longer and the headlight would have fallen off. So I mentioned it to my salesman and said, hey, dude, what's this all about? He went back, or called, he called one of the, uh, maintenance guys up said hey you know guys you got to fix this so they went back and said oh yeah we don't have the headlight so just deliver it as it is and i shook my head and told my salesman hey bro you can't do that headlights a safety item it has to be working properly and be safe in order to deliver the bike and that is by california state law you know it's going to be the same type of issue with a car they can't sell you a car off of a lot with a crack in the windshield they have to fix it they have no choice they can't deliver an unsafe vehicle so my salesman he got angry at the the maintenance guys that said i don't care what headlight you put on there you'll find one so they went and got one it's like a fat bob or a white glide headlight which is fine with me it already had single headlight on there not a big deal and all the way around that's really not a big deal but i'm going to add a few more things i uh this, some of it's my fault i didn't do a proper inspection but the day we picked the bike up me, me and bear went riding around because you know it was my first day on my new bike and so we rode all over the place when we stopped for lunch i realized my fork lock didn't work simple fix it had a bunch of garbage and uh, there's like a hole that uh, when you turn the key to lock the forks, it puts a pin through the hole to lock the forks in place. Again, a little bit of work and I got it working. 
still not a big deal. So right off the bat, that first day I noticed that when I hit the front brake, uh, and it's not all the time, just occasionally when I hit the front brake I get kind of a weird vibration out of it. And I remembered back to Triple X Deadhead when he went to the Progressive Motorcycle Show, he test rode a Fat Bob like mine and brand new bike, hardly a demo bike, and he had mentioned it had a little bit of a weird vibration up front. So I was thinking, okay, it's just a, a Fat Bob quirk, not a big deal. Just recently I've noticed that vibration, it seemed to me like it was getting a little bit worse. So, put the bike up on the jack and started messing around with things and I remembered watching an auto tech video about the cheater way to adjust your steering head bearing. So alright, I'll give that a shot. So I did what I needed to do. Got that cap down there off of the steering head bolt, loosened it up. And sure enough, my steering head was freaking loose. Like, okay. So what you do is you get, get a screwdriver in there. It's got like one of those collar nuts on it. You just tap it with a screwdriver to spin it around and tighten it up. So went out, did a little test run around and I could not believe that vibration is gone completely. Now my steering felt a little awkward at first just because that's not how I'm used to it being. So after that little test ride went in and had some beers. Next day I decided to do a little canyon run and it took about 15 minutes for me to get used to the steering being just a little bit tighter. Yeah, my god, this thing just it handles like a dream now. I thought it handled great before, but now it's just freaking amazing. And just the point I'm getting at is you know, I thought they did like a full inspection on used vehicles before they sell them. Well, clearly, they didn't check the steering head bearing. about that I'll let that story go I'm not gonna say what dealership it was because I don't want to bash them I just have decided that my business will be going elsewhere from now on guys remember a while back I did a test ride at Top Rocker Harley Davidson and they gave me a free t-shirt for doing a test ride. I'm thinking Top Rocker is going to be my new Harley store. They're awesome there. Alright, so I'm at my dentist appointment. I'll cut it for right now. Well, another dentist appointment in the books. I'm starting to think I should have a safe word when I go there. Oh, Wolfie! Wolfie! really good at that office though. I like them, they take care of me. So Saturday, my boy Bear, we're going to be doing a little more work on his bike because I don't want it sitting and he uh, needs brake pads on the back and he wants to flush his brake fluid which, you know, he was just gonna let it sit until he can afford it, so we're getting that taken care of because I don't want his bike sitting and he's my favorite person to ride with. So we're gonna get it done. Well, there's been one other issue lately that's been hindering my vlogging time. My hard drive on my laptop went dead. Just over a year old hard drive kaput. So, I decided I'm going to try and fix it myself. Now, instead of 
paying Geek Squad $200 to install a hard drive and a, uh, and a, and a laptop for me. You know, it's gonna be, it ended up costing me, I think, 80 bucks for the hard drive. I put it in myself and I found out something interesting because the way the Asus laptop is, the hard drive just sits in there and then the cover has foam on it that pushes it down and holds it in place. It's not really secured in there any other way. Well, when I took the cover off, the hard drive was unplugged. So I don't know if it's a quality control issue that Asus had, but put the plug back in, snapped it in, put the new hard drive in, reinstalled Windows, and computer's running freaking great now. And I am so not a computer guy. I'm so I'm shocked that I was willing to crack my computer open myself. <clears throat> I enjoy taking the bike apart and fixing things. Uh, the the computer, hell no. I don't, it's too much if I fuck it up. One last thing I'm going to go ahead and point out, uh, I'm not actually, when I was talking about my steering head, I don't know if I remembered to say it was Autotech's little cheater system that worked great. So you don't have to take the whole front end apart to adjust the steering head. So I want to give credit where credit's due. Thank you very much Autotech for putting that video up. So I'm not sure if I've talked about it before, but think about Probably a year and a half ago, I put in custom dynamics, red turn signals, and brake lights on the back. And I bought the Harley module that replaces a single tail light. It's, it's just a little thing that you plug in through the wiring harness. Changes your rear turn signals into running lights, brake lights, turn signals. Comes with red covers and new light bulbs and all that stuff. But I bought the Custom Dynamics LED lights to put in there and put smoke lenses on. And I've been noticing, I guess I kind of noticed it all along, but I've been riding for a long time with this. And I'm realizing that with the Harley module that converts to my lights, the difference in intensity between the tail lights and the brake lights was barely noticeable. So I've been wondering if I've been riding and people aren't aware that I'm hitting my brakes because my lights weren't changing enough. So I just left the Harley store when got my dad a uh, t-shirt for Father's Day. And I also picked up the Custom Dynamics Smart Triple Play controller. Also converts to run light stop, run stop turn signal lights. But this one also has the flasher built into it so you can make your brake lights flash like four times every time you hit the brakes before they go solid just to get more attention and that actually fixed the problem i uh, went over to old road harley davidson and by the way I, let me say i've said it before on my test rides the guys at old road harley davidson it's a little small town harley store they are freaking awesome I was asking the people at the parts counter if the problem was with the module, if I should even bother buying the, the Custom Dynamics. So the guy at the desk opened the Custom Dynamics ones, went out, we installed it on my bike to see if it made a difference before I paid for it. Which yes it does, it fixes the problem. You can now see when my brake lights come on, plus they flash. Um, I, I forget how many times I can set it to flash, but it's at four right now, which I think I'm going to leave it alone. But anyway, wanted to throw the props out there for Old Road Harley Davidson for taking care of business. Unlike the dealership I was talking about earlier, which I'm not going to name. So, I know freeway's not like side I'm just about to exit, but I'm gonna go uh go hang with my dad for a little bit and see what's going on for today. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the vlog off uh, if y'all are still watching I appreciate you watching all the way through Riverside down shiny side up and peace